please your traditional family Easter egg decorating contest to your children because theirs are too creative? Do you ever go to Pinterest to find some neat ideas and end up turning out to be total failures? Well, I have the solution for you, Juvenet. So let's talk about the things that you'll need to make sure that you have the best egg at your family Easter egg decorating contest. So first of all, you want to have a boiled egg. I chose a brown egg because it helps with the skin tone. However, if you use the white egg, you can just say that it's porcelain skin tone. You want like an egg curtain or if you have one of those fancy egg stands, that'll work too. You want some Juvenet gel strip scraps. I have Miami Beach, which is no longer available, but I pre-cut out some lip shapes that we're going to use on the egg. What we're doing is we're making a beautiful person. And then you want some Juvenet lash scraps, um, trimmings from when you trim your lashes, and your adhesive pen. Um, I pre-soaked a Q-tip with some micellar water that I'm going to clean my egg with uh, because after I boiled her, I put her in the fridge to dry or to cool off so I can handle her. Um, and so I want to make sure everything sticks right. So the first thing I'm going to start with are her lips. Um, I have her upper lip right here and I'm literally just going to peel and stick. How cute is that? And then her bottom lip. She has nice full lips. And I like how they're so sparkly. And then I'm going to take my adhesive pen. And I'm going to draw a couple little semicircles where I want her eyes to be. That's the cool thing about this clear adhesive is you can actually see it. It's kind of iridescent when it's wet. And then I'm just going to take my lash pieces. Oh my gosh, that's so cute. All right, I'm back with that look like Elizabeth, and I have some little hair pieces from a wig. Um, I already put some adhesive on top of her head, and I'm just gonna do my best to stick these hair pieces on. Here we go. Queen Elizabeth. 